Hi everyone, welcome to Melissa's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to do a kiwi Christmas barbecue dinner in a more relaxing casual setting. You can serve it outdoor and it's great for feeding large crowds for family and friends that are gathering this coming Christmas and New Year. It's summer here in New Zealand so barbecue is a favorite dinner that we serve over this summer time. It's great for having gatherings as well that you can invite friends and family over over the Christmas New Year holidays. I'm just going to show you all the different meat that we can use for this barbecue recipe and you can serve it with your favorite salads from garden salad to coleslaw to potato salad and of course some bread rolls um, and also good desserts. So um, for the salads and all the sides you can refer to my channel for the different recipe. So today we have here in front of us, we're going to start with the steak, the barbecue steak. Today we're using the Ceylon steak that was on special this week in the supermarket. I'm going to tenderize the Ceylon steak with 2 teaspoons of baking soda, that's for that. And for marinating the steak, we have here about 16 ml of olive oil, about 16 ml of the balsamic vinegar, and about 3 tablespoons of the Worcester sauce. Then we have a teaspoon each of the salt, the salt, pepper, oregano, and thyme. If you have fresh herbs, you can use fresh herbs. But today I do not have fresh ones, so I'm using the dry one. So for the lamb chop, we have here about eight pieces of medium lamb chop. We have three tablespoons of honey, 75 ml balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of rosemary, dry rosemary and about 3 tablespoons of olive oil and about 3 cloves of minced garlic that's for the lamb chop and then we have here prawns this is about 24 of the prawns we're going to marinate that and put it in a skewer and we're going to barbecue that so about 24 prawns and a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of Italian mixed herbs about 3 cloves minced garlic and about 2 tablespoons of minced parsley this is about 75 ml of olive oil 3 tablespoons of lemon juice and some bamboo skewer that we're going to use and then in this container here I have already marinated the uh, chicken this is satay chicken please refer to my previous video on the satay chicken recipe how to marinate them I have already marinated them overnight this time I'm going to use pieces so it's just um, big chunk of pieces about 20 cm size I'm going to use to cook on the barbecue with the marinating sauce already done so refer to my previous video and of course we have some barbecue sausages over here and then for garnishing decorating on top we have some parsley leaves coriander mint and some lemon wedges so let's get started okay firstly for the barbecue steak we are going to try to tenderize it um, Bit. So put in the baking soda and just drop it in on the meat. And we're going to leave it for about 15 minutes while we do the rest of the meat. So that's the steak. Next is the lamb chop. We're just going to put everything in. All the ingredients, the dry and all the wet ingredients in. And we're just going to marinate it well. So that's the lamb chop all done. So I'm just going to show you the um, satay chicken. You can refer to my video. So yeah, just cut a size like that. So instead of using it on a skewer, we're just going to use chicken pieces. So you can use the same marinade. Refer to my video. I will put the link under the video. So now we are going to marinate the prawns. So for the prawns, just put in everything. Just going to leave it to marinate. All this marinade, we can leave it for at least minimum up to an hour. The longer you leave it, of course, the meat will taste even nicer. Now, this steak has been in the baking soda to tenderize it for about 15 minutes now. So, I'm just going to 
wash all the baking soda under the tap water and dry it and then we're going to start marinating so now I have already rinsed out the steak with baking soda so I'm just going to give it a quick dry so now we are just going to marinate it so putting in all the spices and all the liquid as well so we're just going to cover each of the marinade with a glad wrap and I'm going to leave it for at least up to 2-3 to three hours before we barbecue so this is all the meat or in the marinade we're just going to leave it in the marinade for up to 3 hours 2-3 to three hours until we're ready to barbecue so an hour before the marinade for the prawns is ready we're just going to soak the bamboo skewers in water for an hour so that when we barbecue it, it won't get burnt so the barbecue has been switched on high and now we're going to start by cooking the steak first so we're just going to make sure you line the grill with baking paper and with oil It's a Ceylon steak. Some people like it rare or medium rare, but my family like it well done, cooked well. So we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna put it on, and then once it's cooked one side, we're gonna turn it over, and we're gonna use a brush to base it on top. So now we're gonna cover the hood on top of the grill. Cool. So now it's up to temperature, we're going to cook it to low and we're going to keep turning the steak so we're not overcook it then it's dry. We're going to keep basting it and turning the steak. So we're just going to carry on doing this until the steak is cooked. So now we're checking on the steak. It's now cooked, see nice and moist and ready now. So we can transfer. You can see nice. Um, if you want it not well done, of course it's cooked a bit, it's a bit less time. This is well done. Our family love them well done. Okay, so now we can move it up into the dish to keep hot while we cook the other meat. Now we are going to cook the lamb chop. So same thing like the steak, you want it well done. But some people like it medium or red, so you just cook them as to how you like them. So we're just going to lay them all down and then we're going to baste them and cook them one side and keep basting like we did with the steak until it's all done. So now we're checking on the lamb, it looks lovely and cooked now all brown. So now we can transfer to the serving dish. Okay, next we are going to cook the satay chicken. So we're using a new baking paper and it's as usual just line and grease it with olive oil and we're just going to put it all on and like the steak and the lamb chop we're going to keep basting it and turning until it's fully cooked. the prawns is all been marinated we're just going to put it through the kebab stick so just put them Now the chicken is ready, we're just going to move it up to the plate. It's all smells really yum. So 
on the barbecue and then you cook it in water while we cook the prawns next and then the sausages and then we can have dinner yay okay next we're going to put the sausages and then we're going to put the prawns last we're not going to change the baking paper because the marinade from the chicken is really nice for the sausages that's how we normally cook them Now we're cooking the prawns, we just put the skewer all on. The prawns shouldn't take too long to cook and we just put a base pan like we did with everything on. Just put some of the marinade and paste them on top of the chicken again. So here is here's our kiwi Christmas barbecue dinner all set up or looking nice so um, this is a more relaxing way to celebrate Christmas and you can feed more people so I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, cooking don't forget to like subscribe and I look forward to see you again next time so here's our dessert session for part of our kiwi Christmas barbecue dinner so we have our Christmas pudding, please refer to my previous video on how to make the Christmas pudding and of course our Christmas cake and this is a kiwi New Zealand dessert pavlova so I uh, hope you guys enjoy today's cooking and look forward to see you again next time Merry Christmas everybody!